Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm simply adding highlights to my client's hair. As you can see, she has natural hair and she normally styles in natural styles such as watches, wash and goes and twist outs. So she already has highlights that she previously got done a few months ago, about six months ago, she said, in her hair. So she has the darker brown the highlights and she has a root a color that uh, pressure roots that came in so of course they're her natural color so what she wanted was some lighter pieces all throughout so what I did was added highlights to the top and side sections of her hair now as you can see um, her hair is in its natural state so rather than blow dry it and apply unnecessary heat, I just simply went through and picked out the pieces that I wanted and lightly detangled so that the pieces that I highlighted were uh, as straight as they could be without me applying unnecessary heat uh, because her hair was already clean. So. I knew that I can just go in there and just detangle what I needed to detangle. So I am using a very low developer. I'm using a six developer and I am using the Agora uh, lightener. And I will put that down in the description below so that you guys know exactly what I use. And when I went through what I did was it took weaving uh, sectioning and I used big um, big weaving um, parts in it because when she wears her hair in a curly state I want her ringlets to be obvious and stand out that she has those blonder pieces I didn't want them to be skinny I wanted th them to be chunky so that's what you'll see me um, go through her hair and do and I did use foils because I did use a really low developer and I wanted them to get as bright as they possibly could um, per her request and um, I didn't want to use a lot of power by using a high developer so I just used the foils to get them as bright as they could and I did not leave them in long I left them in for about 15 to 20 minutes if that um, her hair got light um, fairly quickly. So after she was done processing, I did shampoo her hair with the correct shampoo to get her pH uh, levels where they needed to be to keep her hair strong and healthy um, as it can be while you're working with color. And as you can see, her uh, texture stayed pretty much where it was when we first started 
Um, when you're working with color, you do run the risk of stretching the curls out a little bit and that's actually a problem that she had when she highlighted it the first time that's why she waited to get her curls in a healthier state before she went back in with another round of highlights to get her hair even lighter where she wanted it um, but yeah guys it can it can be done um, but yeah you do run the risk of stretching your curls out um, you just have to go to somebody that knows how to um, give you the color that you want in the safest way uh, possible. But, um, you know, everybody's different and everybody's curls is different. What, what might not affect your curls will probably affect someone else's curls. It's all about learning hair and attempting to do things as safely as possible but at the end of the day you know color does um, create damage to the hair it's all about doing it the right way to minimize that and keep the hair healthy throughout the process and after you know learning the proper care on how to take care of your hair when you have color processes in them so ideally I wanted to provide her with a twist out or some natural styling just so I can see how nice the highlights would look but she wanted her hair straightened so that's what I did I did use the Olaplex uh, one and two while lightening her hair and then um, I used the Olaplex uh, shampoo and conditioner after using a neutralizing shampoo to uh, stop the process of the lightening and then before I blow dried it I used number number six and what that does is moisturize and smooths the hair it helps to blow dry the hair quicker and also remove frizz and then I used number seven which is an oil and what that does is give it shine and it protects against the heat of the flat iron. So sometimes I can be my own worst critic. I think that may ring true for a lot of us. And looking back, uh, I wish I would have given her a root melt, which is applying color at the root and bringing it down some and the reason why I say that is because it would have taken care of some of the warmth on her root and also would have brought uh, some of those colors in together and blend uh, more efficiently. But I was a little scared to do that because her hair curls so tightly and she wears it in a natural state for most of the time. And I didn't want to do a root melt and take away a lot of the brightness that I put in there like when when the hair shrinks of course it will shrink to I don't want to say half but it would shrink a lot and then you wouldn't see a lot of the blonde I was scared that that would happen which um, it might not happen as bad so yeah um, that's my only regret with this color but as you see at the end she absolutely loved it and at the end of the day that's all that matters is that my client loves uh, what I did and that I provide them with what they asked me for but I did want to explain that just because I know that some of my subscribers are brand new cosmetologists and I think it helps if they have a question of maybe why did she do this or um, even suggesting it so if they try something like this they can not make the same mistake that I made and it will be a better result for them and also just really letting you guys know my thought process because you know you watch these videos and you don't know why people make the choices that they make so 
I figured I'd throw that in there in case it helps anyone. So yeah guys, so after I finished straightening her hair, I did give her a nice trim. She wanted all of her split ends gone and you will see me giving her a nice trim after this. So as I trimmed her hair, uh, the first thing that I did was grab the little hairs on the very bottom of her nape area just to get rid of any breakage down there um, because normally when you get rid of breakage that's in this area, you don't necessarily want to cut the rest of the hair down to the length that you would cut these little hairs in the back. So I just wanted to get to the breakage on that before starting the rest of the trim. And once I get rid of the ends on the bottom, you will see that I will pull up the hair. And a lot of times people don't like that because they feel as though it creates layers in their hair. But if you look closely, the breakage already caused the layers in the hair because when the and split they start taking the hair strand up and up and up so you'll have like different layers of breakage and the only way to stop that is to actually cut clean layers into the hair they're already there you're just going in there and cleaning up those ends and I like that this was able to actually pick up the split ends on camera Sometimes it when you're filming it just looks like it's further away and you can't really see the actual ends but this was able to pick it up so I'm glad that you guys will be able to see that and see that I'm just getting rid of the split ends and getting rid of also thinning at the bottom of the hair strand. And then it looks uh, so much fuller and so much healthier with the split ends gone. What I'm doing here is just pulling forward her edges and the hair, the short hair around her hairline because she did have some breakage. So I wanted to get rid of as many split ends as I could on her edges so that they can stop breaking up. And I always tell my clients, like, don't be afraid to trim your edges, especially if you want them to grow longer um, because the hair is so fine you can literally just smooth it back uh, with a leave-in conditioner or some edge control 
but it's better to get rid of the split ends on your edges so that you can restore its length than to just allow the split ends to keep growing up and up and up because then that would leave you with um, no edges at all and nobody wants that. Also, you have to be wise about what products you use on your edges. You want to make sure that you use something that doesn't have um, a lot of alcohol or well, alcohol um, in it. You want to make sure that it's moisturizing. Uh, so no gels and things like that because normally what they do is dry out your edges and uh, that's how they get bad and start breaking off and nobody wants that. All right guys, so this is the finished look. You see me trying to comb through and give y'all those Instagram comb out visuals uh, that I am absolutely not good at. <laughs> but I be trying, I be trying to make some um, real good looking content for you guys. But I'm, I'm learning, I'm trying to get there. But y'all look at my client's face, look at her eyes. You can tell she's smiling, she is so, so happy and that is part of the reason why i do what i do i love to make people happy and make um, them feel good about themselves so yeah guys um comment down below your thoughts as always uh, please also make sure to comment like uh, so that youtube will share the video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one